Next thing, take stock of your idiocies and weaknesses and assume that in three to five years, they auger you into the ground and you are in the worst hell you could design for yourself. Mm. That's probable. Write out that because that gives you something to avoid. Because when you're trying to, you're thinking, well, I have something difficult to do. Why the hell should I bother? It's like, oh yeah, so I won't end up in that hell. Right. Right. Because part of it is, well, I want to get to where I want to go. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nice and it's hopeful and it makes you positive, but that's not enough. You also need to be terrified out of your skull. Yeah. And the only way to do that properly, well, I'm sure this must have happened when you decided to stop drinking. You must have thought, this isn't good. I'm not going to be funny anymore. I thought that. I, okay. thought, I thought there was going to be ramifications, yeah. Okay, and so what were they? What, what, do you, what, did you, what did you foresee happening? I thought I wouldn't be funny. I thought that people wouldn't like me. I thought that um, I wouldn't be able to meet girls if I wasn't drinking or, or you know, or having drugs or... Um, Right, so that Those was things. what you were afraid of giving up if you stopped drinking. Right. What were you afraid of happening if you kept drinking? Um, I was afraid of not achieving my dreams. I was right. afraid of, you know, uh, ending up a drug addict. I yeah, was afraid so, of, hurt, okay. of dying in my sleep. Something, you know, dying under the influence. Okay, so there, so there, yeah, it's not like that doesn't happen to comedians. Right, it happens a lot. Yeah, it's one right. of our, dude, it's one of our, it's one of our go-to well, moves. Right. Well, right, exactly. <laughs> well, it's not an occupational hazard because you're up late at night and you're around <laughs> bars all the time. It is, it is. Cause it is. It, 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 because you're up late at night. And yeah, Chris Farley right here. Right, right. Happened exactly. to him. Well, and it happened to all sorts of comedians and rock musicians. It usually happens at about 27. You know, weirdly enough. Mm. So, okay, so you were afraid, you were afraid you're going to die or you're afraid you're going to become addicted. So, so let's say what, what of life, what would have life like been like you for, for you if you were addicted? So you don't have a career anymore. No. Right. So you've given all that up and failed. Mm. So that's fun. So that's going to drive you even more to, <laughs> towards drugs. Yeah. It would have been all my dreams. It would have been miserable. Right. It would right. have been so, hell. Exactly. Is that, so why quit drinking? So I don't end up in hell. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a reason, there's a reason to stop. And then if you make that hell real, it's mm -hmm. like, here's all the details of my personal hell. Yes, let's avoid that. Right. So then you have something to run the hell away from. 